Hi there, Perfecto De Castro here and welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having a great day. I am currently out on tour here in the Philippines, specifically Manila. I figured since this is somewhat of a hot topic, I will take you around for a drive <laughs> around the city so that you can get a first-hand experience of uh, what it's like here. I am in the southern part of the metro, Las Piñas specifically, and I am on my way to Quezon City to pick up my family. So to make this drive interesting, I am going to impose uh, US standard traffic rules in my drive today. So that means observe all visible traffic signs, keeping well within the speed limits, give priority to pedestrians, staying in my lane unless I really need to change lanes to get to where I need to go, give way to other vehicles who need to change into my lane, and finally do my best not to give in to road rage. <laughs> we'll alternate between this angle right here and a dash cam footage courtesy of my GoPro. Maybe even a picture-in-picture -picture footage. Um, we just had a bunch of rain here and I guess there's some... Okay, Waze is <laughs> telling me to go. But anyway, uh, like I said, this is not going to be an uncut video. I'll be editing it for time because there is the very real possibility of it turning into a uh, <laughs> two or three hour long video. GoPro on, recording, let's go. Or as Wei says, ta-ra. Okay, I can already tell the traffic is going to be bad because we are only traveling 32 kilometers and travel time is going to be 1 hour and 20 minutes. That's rough. So I'm definitely going to edit this video for time. So as you can see in front of me, um, the lanes are not that big. In residential areas like this subdivision right here, there are these small motorcycles with sidecars called tricycles that are used as public transportation in and out of the uh, subdivisions. These two guys right here are hogging the entire lane. Not that I'd fit side by side uh, by them anyway. And like I said, I'm going to stick to my lanes so instead of trying to pass them, I'll just be patient. Okay, green light, go. At the exits of each subdivision, they have a terminal where people can catch a ride. But once they're in here, to make the best of their trip back to the terminal, they pick up passengers. And in an effort to control uh, vehicular speed. Every few meters or so, there are these speed bumps here in a residential area. And this stop and go action pretty much applies to typical driving here in the Philippines. The navigation software of choice here in the Philippines is Waze. I have mine set to uh, the local language, Tagalog. It may sound odd to our non-Filipino speakers. We've come to the gated exit of the subdivision. And now we are approaching one of the main thoroughways of Paranaque, which is Sukat Road which we will traverse so that we get to the South Luzon Expressway.
Now most traffic lights here in the Philippines have that countdown timer so that you have an idea of how long you need to wait. Just observing Sukat Road, you see all manners of vehicles, bicycles, trikes, mopeds, motorcycles, cars, mini SUVs, trucks, and all that. Today's not particularly busy because classes, school, and some work is suspended because of the monsoon rains brought about by a tropical depression. Okay, we are go. And okay, you can pass. Pedestrians are everywhere here. <laughs> okay. Let's see, I'm going to change lanes because there is a turn lane here into another subdivision. Pedestrian lane, stop, let it pass. Having lived in the U.S. for the better part of 14, 15 years and having learned how to drive here in the Philippines, I know exactly what the differences are. A lot of times traffic signs here are merely suggestions as opposed to the ironclad rule, which you will see in the dash cam. <laughs> Even though a lot of people seem to be in a hurry, they try to weave in and out of traffic. What they don't realize is they don't really go anywhere. So, early on I've come to realize that all that effort that you spend in changing lanes and weaving in and out and trying to beat and cut people off just so that you can get ahead, you only chop off maybe one or two minutes off your travel time when you do that. And when you think about it, it's not worth all that effort. You just pile on a lot of stress and rage and for not a lot of gain. So since then I've allowed myself to relax and just let things happen. And usually if some car cuts me off, passes me, I'm gonna catch up to him a little later over there. <laughs> so. There's no point. The main difference is he's stressed out and I'm not. Okay, Jeep, go. Okay. A lot of people straddling in between lanes because they can't commit to just one lane, which makes it bad for the rest of us. Now driving here you have to be extra aware of your surroundings as well because these mopeds and motorcycles they pass you from both sides of your car. Mopeds, mopeds, mopeds. <laughs> They're like a fleet. Okay we are 20 minutes into our drive. And I think I am around 10 minutes away from the expressway. And on the right here is a shopping center for SM Mall. And this causes congestion here in Sokat because of all the passengers getting off and getting on the public transportation. And as you can see, this is basically just a three-lane road. And see on your right over there, two jeepneys trying to fit <laughs> into one lane. 
and you have all these mopeds zooming in and out whatever space they can squeeze into okay one kilometer away from the South Luzon Expressway So this will be a quick break from the stop and go traffic, I think. And you get a very nice view of all these billboards. Okay, let's change lanes. We try to go fast. Our speed limit is 100. Right now, I am traveling at around 90 kilometers an hour. Okay, I just hit 100. We'll keep it there. These buses are in the wrong lane. It's supposed to be at the rightmost lane. We're not paying toll here. I'm not sure what this setup is. A lot has changed. And from what I hear, they keep changing. So who knows what's going on anymore. We are approaching Makati. And this is our exit. We're gonna change lanes. This skyway would have been a big help when I was in elementary and high school because this exit dumps us right in front of my uh, alma mater, Don Bosco Makati. Buses here don't make a complete stop before railroad tracks like in the US. They just go. Okay, we are now merging into what is arguably the main artery of Metro Manila roads, EDSA. The middle lane is designated for motorcycles. underpass it's gonna get dark a little bit another moped on the right come on dude come on in Come in too. Go ahead. Hey, what are you trying to do, man? Oh, oh, God, that's tight. <laughs> come on in. Oh, he doesn't want to come in. Oh well, he wants to be in that lane. So try to imagine the stress of fighting for a lane. And you're an SUV, pretty big vehicle. But the guy you're fighting with is in a bus. <laughs> you're gonna lose, man. Damn, it's not worth it. Dia. 
in the lane I turned into just ended and I'm not sure what's gonna happen. Uh, and we got vehicles merging into a U-turn slot up ahead as well. So we'll see. Okay, let you go ahead. Do this merge zipper style. There you go. <laughs> LA has a phenomenon called Carmageddon. That is just 10 a.m. here in the Philippines every day. Change lanes. I am now in the correct lane for where I'm headed. And we'll just tough it out for the next. <laughs> God knows how many minutes. Okay, over there in the horizon, you see the <laughs> iconic view of typical EDSA traffic. Okay, it is 10.08 and according to Waze, I will reach my destination at 10.37. So far, I've stuck to the rules that I've imposed on myself. And I've actually cut the travel time estimate because the initial estimate was for me to arrive at around 10.46 a.m. And now the estimate is 10.37. So I don't know what to make of that. <laughs> there must be something to this stress less driving style okay come on in buddy one thing I've observed with typical Manila driving is the stop and go um, style of weaving in and out of traffic so you speed up jump into that lane and then you slam on your brakes so that you don't hit the car in front of you and then you do it again so that's a waste of gas as well as effort. It's much better to just stay in your lane and just drive smoothly. You'll save gas and brake pads. <laughs> I just shaved another minute off of my uh, estimated time of arrival. So. I don't know man this kind of works okay this is weird this lane has an arrow pointing that direction so I'm not sure what it wants me to do but I am going to merge right okay somebody just cut me off I'm going to wait turn signal and it doesn't want me to get into the space which is fine two minutes shaved again 1034 you're making pretty good time obstruction in the road change lanes so Local traffic enforcement has put up all these barriers to direct traffic and make sure that they follow <laughs> the prescribed uh, directions. I wish it didn't happen.
actually four more minutes. I'm arriving at 10.31. Another pet peeve of mine here in the Philippines is people think they can stop anywhere they want just because they turn on their hazard lights. Almost there. Five more minutes. Accident prone area. So there's a big G right in the middle of the street. That's why. Oh, lots of construction here. Let's see how this works. Oh, this guy. Ah, no. Stop. We are here. Just need to find a place to park. And I will show you what time it is. Okay. So, I don't know if you can see that. But that says 10.31 a.m. Waze estimate was right on the dot. Shaved 13 minutes off the original estimated time of 10.44. So it is possible driving around in the Philippines following U.S. <laughs> traffic rules. So make of that what you will. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up like. If you know anybody in the Philippines who'd be interested to watch this video, please share it with them. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments box below. Interact with me. Share your thoughts, your reactions, and whatever. I love reading them. So until next time, peace, love, good heaven and stuff. Stay safe on the road and keep your cool. Bye.